Here we go! Welcome to the Nintendo Power Zone, guys. It's your boy, Nice193, with a brand new unboxing video. And today we have another Pixel Pop. Today we have the Legend of Zelda White Link. Now, this is a costume that Link gets when you get the blue ring in the original Legend of Zelda. And I'm actually pretty surprised that PvP went back to this 8 bit Link. Actually, they went back to it twice because they also made this figure in red, which we'll be doing an unboxing of that one separately of this one. But anyway, with all the problems that the original Link figure had uh, with color wash, I really am surprised they came back to this. I know they make variants because they get to use the tooling again and it helps them, you know, make better figures down the line. But did this figure need a variant? Well, we're going to find out here today. As always, we're going to go ahead and start with the box. Up in the left hand corner of the box, you have the eye light up word bubble. To the right of that, you have the original Legend of Zelda logo. Under that, you have the Pixel Pals logo. Under, right next to that, it says White Link. You have your age group 14 and up. You have all the logos, PDP. You have the Nintendo Seal quality. And to the right, you have the number 25, indicating that this is the 25th figure in the Pixel Pals line. So guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the other sides of the box. Alright, here it is, the back of the box, my favorite part of the box because we have these awesome character descriptions, so let's go ahead and read White Links. White Link from the original Legend of Zelda is smart, courageous, and fortified. With the heart of a true hero and the might of the Blue Ring, Link vows to restore peace to the land of Hyrule. Link is a master of swords and fully capable of using his skills to overcome all obstacles in his way. As the hero of time, Link continues to fight for justice. Alright guys, so that's the character description for White Link. It's pretty apt, I mean... Not a whole lot going on here. Uh, when he is White Link, he does get like double defense or reduced damage, however you guys want to put that. But I am really skeptical about this Pixel Pop, so let's go ahead and take a look at the last side of the box and then get it out of the box. Alright guys, so Link is out of the box. We loaded up the NES Classic to play The Legend of Zelda. And take a look at the figure outside of the box. It's pretty good looking when it's not lit. Um, that's the same thing I thought about the original Pixel Pal in this line, so I'm still skeptical, but I like the whites a lot. They look really good, and I feel like they're gonna really be highlighted when the figure is turned off. Again, the yellows are there, and those are the things that suffer from the color wash when the figure was turned on, so I'm pretty sure those things are gonna exist, but outside of that, I love the design of this Pixel Pal because I love the design of Classic Link from the original Legend of Zelda. I think they did a great job of conveying this character in that original game. But let's go ahead and move into comparison time and take a look at this figure standing next to the original. All right, guys, it's comparison time. Take a look at White Link standing next to Classic Link. They look really good. They look really good. Not as good as the Mario's look side by side, but they look pretty damn good. I really like the white one a lot. Just the white Link's tunic looks so much better. I don't know why the white looks better in my opinion, but it does. And I just think they did a fantastic job of really getting the character of Link from that original game. Uh, that being said, when we move in closer, you see a lot more differences like the, the greens. Uh, that are in the white of his eyes on the original figure look off, but on the white link they look much better and Just the color contrast of the white off the brown and the yellow that is a much cleaner look to me So I think they did a better job with this color scheme Although that being said I think when we move into you know functionality testing time I think we're still gonna see the same color wash because the yellows look identical Anyway guys, let's go ahead and test that out real quick Okay guys, checking out the functionality, again, I am left disappointed by the 8-bit Link figure. Uh, the white version of the figure actually is worse than the classic version of this figure. There is so much color wash that this is painful. Uh, the white actually exacerbates the color wash of the yellows. Now the browns all look really good, but let's, let's get a closer look real quick. When we zoom in closer and look at these figures, you see the color wash of the white figure looks a lot worse. It looks like the greens showcase the color wash a lot, but the whites just really make those yellows look bad. I, I don't know what PDP needs to do. 
Maybe they should have moved with the different material that they used for the Super Mario World figure and the Hot Ryu figure. Maybe that would have helped, but I think it's just the color yellow in general does not really showcase well when these figures are lit. It makes these figures look bad, like they did not do a good job of doing this. And I know PDP is capable of doing a great job with the Pixel Pals line. I don't know. It just really hurts to see Link looking this bad. Uh, I think maybe the reds might help and we'll find out when we unbox the red Link figure later on. But as of right now, I have seen two different versions of the Link figure and I am disappointed with both of them. Alright guys, it is score time. My favorite time. Why? Because it gets to tell you whether or not something is actually worth your hard earned money. So the retail price of all Pixel Pals this far has been $14.99. And let's go ahead and start with the appearance of this figure. When this figure is turned off, it looks fan freaking tastic. It really does capture that 8-bit Link art style from the original Legend of Zelda. The problem lies when we turn this figure on. So we're going to add a category to this. We're going to have two different appearance categories. One for its appearance off. For its appearance off, I'm going to go ahead and give it a perfect 10 because it really does capture the essence of 8-bit Link from the original Legend of Zelda. It looks perfect. Um, but when we turn the figure on, it looks like crap. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a 4. As far as its functionality is concerned, I'm also going to give it a 4 because its functionality is just severely off. It does not do a good job of highlighting this Pixel Pal whatsoever. It actually makes the Pixel Pal look awful. So we gave it a 10 for its appearance off, we gave it a 4 for its appearance on, and we're giving it a 4 for its functionality. That gives it an 18, so we go ahead and average that out. We're going to give this figure a 9. It get to our seal of quality but it does it in the worst way possible we actually had to add a category for that to be possible um not good pdp you guys gotta step it up um no more yellows you guys gotta figure out a different way of doing this or just using that new material that you used on the super mario world mario because obviously that's getting the job done and what's happening here isn't so yeah it gets our seal of quality but not in the best way possible. Anyway guys, I gotta go ahead and get out of here, but before I do, social media links. You can hit me up on Twitter, at Nice1983. You can email me at Nice1983 at gmail.com. Hit me up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Nintendo Power Zone. If you're a fan of the Nintendo Power Zone podcast, you can always download new episodes on iTunes, stream new episodes on Google Play Music, and Stitcher Radio. But if you want to watch the video version of the show, you can catch us right here on YouTube, youtube.com slash Nintendo Power Zone. That's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, watch out for Amiibo Hunters on the Prowl. Deuces.